<laughs> hey folks, this is Carla from Giggle Fest University, and I am here, oh, and learn English by speaking English. I just did another show, so I'm getting myself back to the show that I'm doing now. And I am here to speak with you guys in English. And I learned something yesterday, and I want to just say this as I am beginning to share out, that people think I'm being mean when I push someone to do better. I only do that with the people who I know, know can do it and the people who understand what I'm doing. And I do it because I know that they can do better than what they're doing. And Jam Shake is a proof, proof of it. I've been working with him for a long time and we have grown together and gotten to know each other. Jam Shade is here to help me while I do my chair out. And Abdul, I want you smiling. And we are going to work on that a little more today because I was a little rough on Abdul yesterday because he didn't seem to be listening. But that's part of teaching. If I allowed him to just talk and not listen, he wouldn't be learning anything. The show would do nothing for him. And you need to understand that. I do it in a loving manner. I don't do it being mean. Having said that, um, I want to tell you that we are sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization promoting peace throughout the world using one conversation at a time. And as you know, we can have up to 10 or we may only have two or three conversations here. It all depends, but it, that's the value of the show. James Shade, can you please introduce yourself so I okay. can begin to share out? Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Jam Shade, for coming. You are most welcome, Carla, and it is my pleasure to be in this show. Okay, everyone, uh, my name is Jamshed Raza, and uh, I am a freelancer, blogger, and YouTuber working for many, many years, and uh, I can just, uh, uh, I have just completed my uh, MSc in mathematics and uh, also working on school. Uh, private school teaching uh, subject like math and physics and also teaching people on online uh, like uh, graphic designing and different how to take uh, tutorial and uh, I also write different uh, blog right I'm also blogger working for uh, like a freelancer and that is quite my uh, simple introduction which uh, I just uh, I was just uh, working like and the most uh, beautiful part of my journey is to understand different uh, like different uh, technology in different passage of the time therefore I just experiment with different uh, different section of the technology like I am also working on programming since I have understanding of mathematics and problem solving Therefore, I work most of the time on solving uh, different uh, program like uh, Python programming I am doing most of the time. And uh, apart from that one, uh, I also enjoy chatting with the people and also <laughs> improve my English since uh, I, uh, English is my third language, therefore I can yeah, or second language, therefore I can just improve my English language. And I have been in this show for quite from initial days when it was started in helping uh, Carla uh, time by time. 
and uh, I love to be in this show most of the time and uh, chatting with different people and helping them out to uh, speak to learn English. And that is quite my simple introduction. HP, I need a real name in order to bring you in, just so you know, no, please put it in the chat. Um, oh, Jose, I guess. And what I would like to, I want to make a correction, Jamshay, because I've never heard you say this before. And I want everyone to know that when you come to the show and you do your introduction, you don't have to say, this is my introduction. It's <laughs> like if you were at a party, you wouldn't go up and say, hi, how are you? Introduce yourself and then say, this is my introduction. You just speak, okay? okay. It's not necessary. All right. Um, maybe, the question that I brought up today is that sometimes I can be a little pushy. I'd like you to talk about it because do you feel that I'm being mean to people or do you think that, realize that I'm doing it in a good hearted way? Yeah, that is completely fine. Uh... I think there are different type of people and also uh, different nature they have. And uh, therefore, it doesn't matter if I have my style or my way of speaking or I want to make understand people uh, from my own way. That is completely all right. We don't or I don't enforce someone to change himself or herself from their current position because that is gifted by the god and he or she must continue whatsoever she wants or he wants uh, but one thing i want to say that uh, improvement is necessary for for every person to person for example sometime if we are doing something wrong and maybe some people are saying or some person will say that yes you are doing wrong uh, it may be not wrong for so, some people who may be in that same atmosphere or same like we can say uh, surrounding maybe there are some people who see uh, from different perspective uh, the 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 uh, the nature of the person it could be different for for that person but one thing which is wrong for me may not be wrong for second person or one thing which is wrong for second person, it may not be wrong for me. Therefore, uh, but sometimes some specific portion is completely wrong for everyone. Like if I'm behaving uh, bait with a person who is just uh, uh, conversation with me in a very pleasant and nice way, then it is, I think, wrong to just uh, converse, to uh, just uh, continue conversation uh, with bad behavior. Therefore, Carla, you are doing great job, and uh, you are also just. Uh, uh, Sometimes you, <laughs> I feel that you also angry on some people. It is quite right because they are not just understanding the rule or regulation, which is which any program or which any like like this type of show may have therefore if uh, you are just making correction to those person or those people that is completely fine and i am also okay with that one because you have also corrected me many times and i i just take it positive <laughs> yeah i don't mean to be mean that's not yeah. my intention my intention is to help you learn. And if I say something five times and you're still doing the same thing, then I need to be a little rough. And I don't mean to be. I want to help people. Um, HP, I need your real name in order to bring you to the show. You don't need to change it. I will change it, but I need to know what it is. 
So please type it in the chat in Zoom and then I can bring you. Thank you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say about that before we move on to Abdul? Yeah, uh, we should continue to Abdul. Then uh, we will just, uh, in between, we will just uh, discuss about whatsoever we have agree or disagree then. Okay, let's open it up for Abdul. Yeah. I may just bring in this guy and figure out what his name is. Okay, Abdul, how are you? And please introduce yourself. I'm fine, inshallah. Thank you so much. This is Abdul Qadir, and uh, I am from Islamabad city from Pakistan. And uh, I have graduated uh, in bachelor's. I, I, I completed my bachelor's in computer science in 2018 from Concert University, Islamabad. And uh, now I am working uh, as a freelancer uh, as a graphic designer on 99designs.com. And uh, uh, right now I'm here to learn English and uh, uh, I'm very passionate actually about it uh, to learn English and to speak fluently with others. Because uh, speaking English uh, is a, a very, uh, you know, uh, essential skills nowadays that it helps you, you know, to seek uh, any kind of job uh, if you can speak English, you can uh, get actually any kind of job. I, I mean, it helps you to seek uh, uh, to earn your living. So I'm trying to improve uh, my uh, speaking skills as well. And uh, that's why I'm here today. I'm happy to have you. Thank you. Um, you were here yesterday and you were one of the people I was very concerned about. By the way, before I say this, let me add this in. If you're watching from the watch party and you wrote me a message, I cannot see those messages. You need to do me a favor and come over to Rayhan's page. If you want to join the show from the watch party you need to either copy the link that i left for giggle fest university in the chat and paste it in your browser and come mm -hmm. or you can just come to rayhan alawala's page and click on the link there i cannot add you, I can't see your messages, let alone be able to add you any other way. And if you find any value to this show and you think it's helping you or would help your friends and family, please share it out to your friends and family so they know and they can come to the show too and enjoy. I see we have quite a few people in the audience come and join me. Be a part of this. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. That's the reason you come here. If you make the mistake, you learn. If you think you know it all and you're afraid to make mistakes, you're not going to learn. And no one ridicules you. This is a pretty open environment for you to come and make mistakes. Would you not agree Jam shade and Karen. <laughs> yeah, Carla. Uh, we just, uh, as a human being, we are always making mistakes. Uh, we should not be afraid about that mistakes because we can improve uh, whatsoever we are doing in our life. Therefore, uh, we should continue by making mistakes, but we should concern the improvement in that mistake as well time by time and uh, that is i think what what people should come and speak uh, i'll always make mistake in 
uh, mistake in speaking English, but I'm not afraid. I'm confident. People are also <laughs> just criticize me in my YouTube channel that you are speaking like oh, <laughs> that. You are speaking like that one. I just laugh and I say that yes, because I'm I'm speaking. Uh, I'm making something. Therefore, I'm also uh, uh, making mistake. I'm in, I'm learning. I'm in the process of learning. Therefore, the people should not just uh, afraid of the mistake. And one thing I want to ask from Abdul uh, brother that, uh, as you said that you are uh, as a freelancer and working on 99 design, uh, how about your uh, experience in 99 design? Since I have been working in 99 design and I have on nearly, I think three contests from the 99 design, and I want to know about your your experience. And I will also share one of my funny experience with 99design as well. Before you do that, can you tell me what that is? Because I have never heard 99. What is <laughs> Design. that about? <laughs> Let um, Abdul tell me. Yeah. Okay, 99. <clears throat> sorry. 99designs uh, is a platform where designers uh, come uh, and uh, the clients come, the clients put their requirements and their uh, problem and the designers solve their problem by designing different kinds of designs like uh, different kinds of graphic design, printing designs, banners, billboards. Like uh, the uh, clients come and designers try to solve their problems by the uh, creative mind and uh, different kind of uh, using different kind of tools like uh, different graphic designing tools which are like adobe illustrator adobe photoshop sector so it's kind of online platform uh, virtual uh, i mean uh, i can't go to a uh, shop in my country which is so much expensive uh, i can't go there and uh, i can't uh, brief my uh, problem over there it uh, it takes so much time that's why it's a virtual platform where client come and he talks to the designer he put her uh, his or her requirements in front of him and a designer provides him um, the solution of their problems and uh, if they like uh, different designers come with different designs and it's up to client uh, what, uh, whatever designs he or she may like and uh, the one she likes and uh, the uh, the designer actually wins that project and the client paid to, the, to that designer. So it's that kind of thing. Do you know that you explained that beautifully? You answered the question. Do yeah, you realize you so. that you did that and look how well you did it? Yeah, I realized that I did uh, quite better than yesterday. <laughs> right. But that's part of learning. Yesterday, you were so anxious to speak that you were not listening. And I'll tell you, there are times that I don't listen well. A very good friend of mine and I had a disagreement. And the disagreement actually came because I wasn't listening to the person closely. And I feel very embarrassed about it, but it is what happened. I can't go back and change it. We all do what you were doing yesterday. Don't feel that you're alone. There's four levels of listening. I put up a, I got it from a friend's page about the four levels of listening. You should get, find it on my um on my profile page because it's so important um we don't realize i put it on several of my pages and groups because we don't realize how important it is to listen carefully so although you may think i was attacking you yesterday i really wasn't you know, I was just really working at you to listen. Okay, Jam Che, you wanted to talk about yeah. this design, 99 design? 
<laughs> yeah, I was just uh, asking from Abdul that <clears throat> how was your experience with 99 design? Uh, have you ever owned any contest till now? Yeah, actually, it is a very interesting story. Uh, mm. I had I had the very first contest, and uh, I participated in that. And by luck, and uh, what uh, what should say, uh, by luck, I just won that contest. And it was one seventy five dollar. Mm. Do me a favor, speak a little slower because I'm having trouble understanding all your words. Okay, go on. Okay, it was just my first contest that I participated ever at 99designs.com. And uh, uh, fortunately, I have won that contest and I have won $175 for that project. And I was quite happy and that motivated me a lot. Uh, after that, uh, I have participated in dozens of uh, <laughs> contests. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't uh, <laughs> win any yet. That was the only yeah. contest I won. But uh, I, uh, I never get back uh, and I never get demotivated. Uh, I always try, try, try. And right now, um, just uh, in the morning, I have again participated in a contest, and that is uh, of three seventy-five or three forty-five dollar. And uh, I'm quite hopeful about that. But uh, yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, time by time, uh, we get experience on it, and uh, right now I'm making portfolio over there and uh, learning a lot from uh, the good designers uh, that are there. Because uh, the more we participate, the more we practice, the more we learn from uh, the other designers, the more we will get uh, uh, improved. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Because my uh, yeah, when very you, nice. When you say try, remember you're doing. Do you have a pencil or anything you can put on the floor next near you? Just I mean, anything. I don't care. Okay, I have notepad in my laptop. Okay, put the notepad on the floor. Or pick up your notepad. Just pick it up. I don't have right now here. Just in my laptop. You said notepad you, here. you had a notepad. Do you have something that you can just put put down on the table or on your on your laptop? It could be as simple as a pencil. Okay, just wait a minute. He is doing Carla. <laughs> I know. He is not trying. <laughs> That's the whole point. You yeah. know what I'm doing. Yeah. Did you try to get that or did you get it? I just got it. <laughs> okay. Put it down on the table. Now try, I don't, just one of these things you need. Try to pick it up. Try to pick up the pen and show it to me. Okay, put it down again. Try to pick it up. Right. Put it down again, please. Pick it up again. Now, did you try to do it or did you do it? I just did it. Right. That's the point. You can either try to do something or you can do it. When you try, you're not really doing it. You're just saying, okay, maybe I'll get to it the next day. But when you say, I'm going to do it, you do it. It's all a part of mindset and doing what you want, you need to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
actually um, <clears throat> i didn't get you i lost my internet connection just got it back say that again i think your internet kind of broke up a little say it again i didn't hear you frozen yeah <laughs> Okay. Did you pick up the pen or did you try to pick it up? Yeah, I just picked it up. Okay. Did you go work at going to your going to do a design or did you try to do it? Did you make a design, a web design, or did you try to make a design? He is again frozen, Carla. I know. <laughs> I think disconnected. Abdul, yeah, well, I don't want to remove him because if I do, he can't come back. Abdul, if you can hear me, restart your Zoom and your laptop and come back. Yeah, he, he got it. Now, Abdul completely go out of Zoom, close your Zoom and restart it and restart your laptop and come back. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, yes, I can answer you. Did you hear what I asked you to do? Yeah, yeah, I didn't try to go at net nine design and to participate in the contest. Actually, I did that. <laughs> you did try or you did do? No, I did do. I just participated. I didn't try to participate and in the contest. I participated there. Tell me about this contest. Is it a contest or is it a way of getting jobs? Yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of freelancing where uh, a client come up with uh, his or her requirements. And it's kind of contest where different designers participate in that contest. And uh, who actually wins that contest, uh, he gets the award. And the award so is kind of The award is the Sorry. job, right? The award is the job, correct? Yes. James said, you said you've done this too. What? And you had some funny stories. Can you <laughs> share it? Yeah, Carla. Uh, uh, just I want to say uh, one thing. Uh, I want to add one thing that uh, 99 design is a platform where different uh, designer will come and join and uh, also the client also come. For example, Carla, you need a t-shirt design. Then you will just put the description in that website that I need in t-shirt on that there should be like uh, a cow and you should design the t-shirt in a very attractive and best way then uh, all the designer will come and see the description and they will design everyone will design like uh, who participated in that contest and maybe there are 20 to 100 or maybe 500 people they can design and give you different uh, variation about your description on all those designer when you see one of the best design you will select that design for example, you have put the price for that specific design, $50. After selecting the design, you will give your $50 to one person only, the selected one. All other will just uh, let, uh, all other will not get anything from that contest. Contest is like contest, there is one winner, right? For every, every game or every like sort of a thing, there is only one winner. Then, uh, uh, I just participated in my initial days, like I, was, I just started 
uh, I think 99 design in 2013. And uh, I have just completed or just won three contests, maybe like up to $1,000 I have on from that one. But in previous, after just uh, uh, maybe after just giving a gap of three years in that 99 design, previous month I started once again to, to try my best uh, just uh, to participate on 99 design contest. Then uh, <laughs> I have started and entered the design and I, I got a notification for 99 design that uh, your design is very uh, like generic design. We are suspending your account and uh, once we will open uh, like a new uh, entry, then you will like come once again to enter the design. I just laughed. I said, okay, no problem. <laughs> that is okay, completely fine. And like same 99 design, we have a freelancer.com as well. Um, we are, I have just 100 plus project completed from that website as well. And uh, I don't worry about uh, like 99 design, we have a freelancer. I have many, many more uh, like website uh, where I have just participated on own different contests from my design. The one of the best contests, like Abdul uh, said that, uh, the first contest I was just trying uh, and that was in uh, designcrowd.com if Abdul know that I have just uh, some people some someone told me that there is a website you should also participate on that one I just went there and uh, just started register myself and I saw one contest and uh, after reading the description I just in one minute I just designed I said how it will work just put the design in a submitted in that contest after one month from the contest holder, I got a message that we just selected your design. You should submit the vector file and get your prize. <laughs> I was just surprised what is happening over here now? What is that? It was like 130 the prize was. And I was very happy on, on that time. And there is some like, uh, I don't know that type of uh, st strategy always happens. Sometimes we just uh, say that, yeah, I can win that, but that contest, but we never win. Sometimes we say that, okay, leave it, whatsoever it will happen, we will get the reward for that. <laughs> that is completely what I got from 99design previous month that, yeah, uh, they have rejected my account. I said, okay, no problem. Since I'm also working on different platform, leave it as it is. No, it's not like a freelance, the part a freelance organization or and is it only for web design or is it for other things too everyone Carla no problem but those who can just fulfill the requirement like uh, uh, maybe there are different websites but 99 design is specially for design Carla like web designing t-shirt design book cover design maybe painting, uh, logo design, business card, related to design, anything or everything, you can get in 99design. Other than that, uh, you can just concern to other websites like freelancer.com, Fiverr, which is one of the most uh, famous website where the people just uh, offer their services and the client come and order that service. That could be anything. Like you are just speaking uh, English, you can offer that. I can teach you how to speak English. You can put the order in people, come in order. Oh, I can. Could you? Um... There are content writing. I don't know about speaking English. There is a service. I don't know about that one. But there is like a writing about different content. There are people and there are different services always there. And one thing more, I just found that a voice hour, like people are, uh, just making voice over for different videos. They also put different services for one dollar, maybe for one minute or two minute voice over script. Yeah, someone once asked me to do a voiceover mm -hmm. and I was willing to do it and I wrote back to the person and I never heard from them again. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was like, 
what is this about? It was about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Why is the word like, Carla, uh, the person, maybe I'm a client, I, I need you to voice the work, then I will give you a script, for example, uh, about different products. Then uh, you can just uh, like speak whatever we are speaking about that uh, product and record your voice. Then they use your voice in different videos. Yeah. I'm just wondering how you guys know so much about this because I, <laughs> it's all new to me. Um, how long have these platforms been, been in existence? Uh, yeah, Carla, um, since I'm doing for many, many years that one, uh, we are searching like in Asian countries, we, uh, we just find different platform like about online earning. And uh, there are like, I think uh, a new uh, like uh, report uh, has been published that Pakistan is one of the, mm, I think most uh, freelancing uh, people they, uh, Pakistan has. And, uh, like we have like one of the top world freelancer in the Pakistan. And uh, therefore, I think one of the best ways is that one, Carla, if I uh, work hard in Pakistan and go to any uh, specific job, I uh, may not get more than 80,000 rupees per month, okay? But in freelancing, we can go to maybe 100, 100K or 200K or maybe 500K. Uh, limitation or above than that one. If you want to limit yourself, you to go, you go to government or private uh, institutes or maybe uh, offices. If you want to be freelancer and want to expand your earning or living, or then you can just do freelancing. And uh, I therefore I left many jobs. Like I left many good jobs. People were saying that no, why you should left that. I said I know what I am doing. And now I have achieved the goal which I have just estimated. Now I have put my goal to the next level that I'm going to achieve that, that point. For example, the first point or the first milestone I have received. Now I just uh, put my second point, second level, and I am working on that one on a daily basis. And inshallah, I will get that. Oh, I know you. Oh, I have no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. you've created your own levels. Mm -hmm. And are you doing well with it? We're going to ask Abdul that in a moment, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah Carla. Um, I'm very like uh, in my daily life, I have very, uh, what we can say that a specific time limit for all my activities. Like in morning when I woke up, walk up, then what should I do? I have a specific time each and every day. And I just follow that time timeline. And uh, first, uh, on initial phases, when I have just put limitation on myself, it was very hard. But now I'm used to that one. And I'm getting whatsoever I want. For example, I need to make videos on daily basis, five videos, 10 videos, one hour of videos, two hour of videos, I can just make that one. For example, I, I just also made a video for a designer like Abdul that how you can win a contest. I just put my like objective to enter three contests every day. Then I multiplied that to 30, for example, one month. It was like 90 design. I said that in 90 design, if I win only three design, then I will get a prize, which any person in Pakistan will not get that one. Then three design is very simple. For example, in morning, in the evening, at night, I will make three design. And 90 design, Carla, it is very difficult if anyone say that in one month, I can not make 90 design. But I make simple mathematics and calculate everything and I will follow that strategy in my life. And everything is calculated in my life. Therefore, I'm getting whatsoever I want. Uh, 
Okay, Abdul, what has happened to you with this? Have you, do, are you finding success in working on this program? Yeah, I feel quite uh, comfortable and uh, uh, while joining in the contest and uh, I have participated in many contests, but uh, uh, I just won only a single contest over there, but uh, I, I'm submitting designs on a daily basis. Uh, I try to submit designs on daily basis as uh, I have not uh, achieved the second level of 99 designs, which is uh, 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 first level is beginners. Uh, entry level uh, where you can participate uh, only 10 designs per month and the second level is mid level where you can participate uh, on unlimited contests then you have a chance uh, uh, to win more uh, 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 contests as you can participate uh, on uh, unlimited contests on daily basis you can participate uh, in three contests four contests it's up to you but right now uh, I am uh, uh, on entry level where I can participate in only 10 contests and I am trying my best to achieve the second level so that um, yeah. I can uh, participate uh, in many contests and uh, the chances of uh, winning the project uh, should increase this way. And you enjoy doing it because yesterday you said, I have no idea what I want to do. And I'm wondering if you now have an idea what you want to do. Habib, I'll be with you in a moment. Is, do you enjoy doing design? Yeah, yeah, I do enjoy. See, that's what I was looking for yesterday. Look at your confidence today. Do you see the difference? Yeah, I can clearly see that. So can I. I'm very proud of you today. Thank you, Carla. And I was also very proud of the fact that I know that I was rough on you. You stayed and you made it work. Do you realize that? Yes, yes. And that in itself is a big accomplishment. Habib, I'll be with you in a moment. Wait for me to get to you, okay? Okay, I'm ready. But, excuse me. Now people are coming near the end of the show. Everyone comes. Okay, I'm going to move on to Arslan because you've been talking for a while. Let's give him a chance. Okay, Arslan, I don't even know if I have the right name. Help me with your name. Don't unmute yourself. Let me do it. Tell me what your name is and what you want me to call you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I just uh, uh, know about your uh, English class that's going on uh, from Facebook. Uh, so I just joined. Uh, and the correct pronunciation for my name is Ursalan Habib. And what do you want me to call you, Ursalan? Do you want me to Arsalan. call you Arsalan or Habib or yes. here? Ursalan. Arsalat? Arsalan. Arsalan. Okay. Where do you live, Arsalan? Uh, I live in Faslabad. Uh, that's a city in the province uh, of Punjab of Pakistan. Okay. And what do you do there? Uh, actually, uh, I am a government employee in uh, Pakistan television and uh, I'm working there uh, in admin department as a clerk. In Pakistan television? Yeah. Did I hear you right? How long have you been doing that? Uh, I joined Pakistan television corporation in 2016 uh, as admin clerk. 
Okay, do you like doing that? Uh, I'm not sure about it. <laughs> Whether I like it or not. Okay, what would you like to do? I even don't know that right now. Uh, actually, uh, I work very uh, hard to discover myself uh, and to discover what I've been made for, uh, but uh, I just fail to discover my talent. So uh, I just uh, join uh, what, uh, whatever I've been offered. When you were in school, what did you like to study most? Um, there was, I'm not sure, I just don't know. I even don't know. Did you like going to school? Uh, and, uh, and, and please uh, excuse me for my bad English. Or, uh, actually, oh, uh, it's my first say time. That. It's my first time here. Never say bad English. I was just going to compliment you and say your English is very nice. Where did you learn your English? Thank you, thank you. Uh, actually, uh, the school uh, I attended, uh, that was an English medium school, I mean, uh, that was a, a private institution uh, here in our town. Uh, and the mode uh, of our education was English because most of uh, the textbooks we used to study there uh, were in English language. So I just got the vocabulary from there, but uh, uh, I just lack the speaking skills. No, you don't lack it. Have you been speaking English a lot in the past few years? No, actually, the people um, uh, around me, the most people around me, and uh, they just don't know how to speak uh, English. Uh, and uh, they're mostly Urdu speakers or Punjabi speakers. Uh, so uh, that's why I didn't got the chance to uh, speak English much. Do you know that I'm amazed if you haven't, you graduated school in what year? I graduated uh, my, uh, I did my matriculation in uh, 2009 and then uh, uh, there was a... 2009 and you haven't been speaking English since then? No, I wasn't speaking English. Uh, I just uh, uh, used to uh, read some articles and books. That's it. Your English is beautiful. Oh, thank you. You are you. doing an excellent job. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> well, what I'm not so proud of myself. Of, my gosh, I'm amazed by your English. I thought you, oh. is this the first time you're talking to an English native speaker? Yes, it's my first time. Your English is beautiful. See, that's thank a problem. You, you, Not only in Pakistan, but I'm going to talk about Pakistan. It's all over the world. You think you need to be speaking a certain way. And I have no trouble understanding you. I have no trouble, no one would. You're in, you haven't mm -hmm. spoken English for 10 years and you're speaking beautifully. Where did you find the show? Uh, Rabia Nasir Mahmood uh, is my Facebook friend uh, and um, I also know Rehana Lawala. And uh, uh, recently, I think uh, Rabia Nasir uh, made a video on you. So I got to know about you. She did a video a few months ago. Are you saying a video that she did recently? Mm, it, it was just on my newsfeed. Um, uh, 
I don't know that she did recently or a month ago, but uh, it was just on my news feed. I was scrolling uh, my news but, feed and found that. Was it about? Got to know was her. it about me or was she interviewing me? Uh, she wasn't interviewing you. Uh, it it was a two to three minutes video and uh, uh, she was uh, paying a tribute to you like it was that sort of video wow i need to get it from her she wanted to i, I knew she wanted to do it but she didn't send it to me yet so i don't have it but but, uh, but you was mentioned there yeah she was she told me she wanted to do that for me but I need to have it so I can put it on my website. <laughs> I don't okay. have it. I didn't. I thought she hadn't done it. I'll send her a message when we're done. That's so yeah. nice. Did she do it in and English or did she do it in Urdu? Uh, she did it in English totally, and uh, she had uh, given you the title of uh, Laughter Lady. <laughs> Um, that, thank you. I'm glad you told me because I thought she forgot about it. Um, so did you find this show on Rehan Awawa's page? Uh, no, uh, after, uh, I just uh, can't remember, uh, uh, I think, uh, Two to three months ago, I found a link of your video there, but I didn't see it. But I mean, your name was familiar to me, but I didn't join your session. That's okay. I'm always here Monday through Thursday for your age, and Sunday I'm here for the younger group. And if you're watching now, please, if you find value to this show, please share it out to your friends and family. You're okay. From uh, from now on, uh, I'll definitely uh, share uh, the link on my wall, and uh, uh, I'll try to regularly uh, connect to you guys, so I may get a chance to improve my speaking skills. Uh, uh, the little bit uh, I can uh, speak is uh, because of the reason that uh, I used to watch English movies a lot. So um, I think that was the only reason that I uh, uh, improved my speaking skills on go to. That's the best thing to do if you can when you can't speak to someone because. Actually, Rehan Awawa told me that's how he learned English. He would re listen to the news, he would listen to English cartoons and English whatever. And he learned to speak English that way. He's not the only one who has done that. I'm just pointing it out because it's very important, um, especially in the world today with the work people do we're okay. a global society and the it just happens that english is the language of the glo global language right now when i picked english i'm glad that it was picked because i okay. would you know, I'd love to learn French. I don't see anyone doing this in French yet. Okay. But it's very important. And what you're doing and your skill is just absolutely amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. Um, accent and uh, vocabulary can uh, can be improved by uh, the english movies or uh, english shows or news uh, but uh, i think uh, uh, speaking is equally important i mean uh, you just right. uh, can't learn how to speak uh, when you don't uh, find a chance to practice practice it absolutely
You are doing such oh. a great job. Be proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You deserve it. Everyone, yeah. give. let's clap for him because he's doing really, really well. And I'm sorry, Abdul, I didn't do this for you yesterday. I probably should have. Thank but, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you should feel very good about what you're doing. Uh, and uh, thanks uh, to you for uh, the provision of such a great platform where uh, we can uh, find native speakers and uh, we can uh, speak without uh, getting shy and without uh, any hesitation. Uh, and I think this is the main problem uh, here in our society that uh, uh, we uh, fear to be just and uh, we shy, we hesitate, and that's why we just uh, can't improve. And that's true. It's because they get shy. They're afraid to come here. They're afraid that I'm going to yell at them. But I really, and Basin, you can talk about this in a moment. When I get annoyed with someone and I want to help them learn and move, I sometimes seem very mean, but that's not where I'm at. I just want to see you improve so much. And if you're not doing it, I get, oh, come on, you can do it. Hurry up, <laughs> you know, listen, you know. But it's not to be mean or disrespectful or make someone feel bad about themselves. It's to encourage them to continue and to learn. And I always feel bad after I do it because I think, oh no, I scared some people away. I don't want to scare them away. I just want them getting better. Uh, at least I'll not be scared by you. Uh, rather, I'm so thankful. Um, uh, well, I, I should have. Uh, the ambassador doesn't scare him at one point, and then we had uh, an issue, and we worked it out, though. Okay. And that goes for anyone. If I'm being a little rough and you feel uncomfortable, let me know. If I know, I'll settle down. But I want you to learn, and the only way you can do it is by putting your best foot forward and just coming and doing it. I don't expect you to be perfect. If you were okay. perfect, you wouldn't have anything to learn. Okay. Uh, I'll surely try to improve. And believe it or not, I don't think I am perfect in any shape of the word. I make tons of mistakes. And I do them every day. And I yell at people about not listening. And I realize that I wasn't listening to something a really good friend was saying to me. And he had to get like I was to me and say, look, you're not hearing me. You know, okay. and he apologized. But he had to do it. And I'm very thankful he did it. It wasn't fun for me, believe me. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I tell this so you understand you're not the only one. Arslan, you disappeared. Come back. Can I move on now? Do you have anything else you'd like to tell me? Do you have anything else to say? Yes, no, maybe. We can't hear you now. I don't know what happened. Arslan, I'm going to move on, but we can't hear you, just so you know. Okay, don't go anywhere. You can hang out, okay? Okay, that grumpy face today. Do I have to talk to you about your grumpy face again? 
Assalamualaikum, Ma'am Carla. No, you didn't talk about my grumpy face and what. I, I just and called like you them. grumpy face. Okay, I didn't know about you. I should be calling you smiley face. But thank you, thank you. Um, introduce yourself, Bassett, please. Okay, my name is Bassett Khan. I am living in Abbottabad and I am doing my MS and developmental studies. I love my, I love my subject. Why do you love your subject? Because it attracts me, it uh, has something I want to learn. Uh, I have very interest in these subjects, these uh, knowledge, these sort of things to know. And these subjects provide all those stuff which I wanted to know. That's why I love my subject. That's really good. That's it. I saw the. Actually, I heard part of it. I didn't hear the whole thing, but I heard you spoke in the English book group that Amar Jaffe made. Do you want to talk about that a little? Uh, sorry, I didn't get you. You sent a voicemail in that English speaking group. Can you tell me what book it was that you read? Okay, okay, you are talking about that book. So in that English group that uh, they give uh, weekly uh, topic to everyone to speak about on that topic. So the topic of uh, last week was, wh which is your favorite book or movie, I guess, and why? So my message was that uh, I uh, talk about my favorite book and I told them about my favorite book and, they, uh, and it was the activity. Uh, so my favorite book is The Leader Who Had No Title by Robin Sharma. The what? Say that again, say it slowly. I didn't understand that when you put it in your voice note either. Okay, The Leader? Oh, okay. The, the leader, leader who, the leader who had no title. Good. Go on. Tell me yeah. about the book. It is just like you. You had no title, but you are leading uh, the university. You are leading people. You are helping people, but you don't have a, a, a title. You don't. Ha you do, you are not a CEO. You are not the president of America. Uh, you are not uh, the ambassador or something. There is no title with your name, but you are leading the way. So uh, it's mean the title uh, didn't interest you. Title didn't bother you, but you are doing your way in a leadership way. So it is just all about like this. Uh, so it is the story of uh, an American soldier. It is started like that. Uh, so he fought a war in Iraq. So when he came back to his hometown, his hometown, uh, he is not feeling uh, very well mentally. Uh, he is uh, mentally there in the war. He he don't have sleeps at night because of that war. Uh, he fought in Iraq because the bloodshed he saw there and it's not, uh, it's making him sleepless at night. So he met a friend of his father and then the, the friend of his father tell him that your father told me when I died, uh, I, I should let you meet with four person. So that's how the story continues, that's how the story uh, the, the four people who are leaders in their fields. One, were, uh, one was uh, uh, a waitress. You call it a waitress or what in the hotel? A service, a service girl. But she was doing her job in such a fantastic way that uh, every customer loved her, her services and gave her 
uh, even more than her services because of the way she puts all his energy and all his efforts in doing his job. So that's how four leaders without a title he met and how can uh, how can he reduce the trauma uh, back in his mind and how can he continue his life without and remo removing all these uh, sort of uh, the, the, that war uh, that war uh, what do you call it that war images so it is just uh, the story and it tells you how can you lead without a title you don't need a title to be a leader no, you don't. You just need to do what you what, what you're doing. Titles give you nothing really, and teach you nothing. You know, it's just a name, whereas a leader just continues to work at it. However, I do have a title for Giggle Fest University. But that's only because I began the whole idea. So what else do you want to tell me today? So my exams are coming next week. And I am a bit of worried about it because we have one subject. It is statistic analysis of development. And it is so much maths involved in it. And I don't get maths that easily. <laughs> so I it's really... Go on. So I don't have any idea how to, how to deal with it. I'm just hoping for the best and finger crossed for this exam. Okay, you need to study as much as you possibly can. Do you have any friends who are good at math? Yes, in my class there are lots of people who are good at good at maths. Is there anyone who can help you understand it? Uh, even I am playing uh, planning for that to sit with some of my class fellow and us uh, and study together. But let's see, and let's see, we, I have uh, one week for study. So let's see how much I can cover as much as I can. Well, if it's an area that you do not like and it's very difficult for you, I would definitely find a friend who could say, okay, I will help you and help you understand. If it confuses you more, you go away from that person. <laughs> don't go for more confusion. Say, I need clarity. I don't know what, I'm more, what you're saying. Don't be afraid. You say that to me now. Don't be afraid to say to anyone, I need help, I don't understand. It's perfectly yes. fine. Yes, yes. It's perfectly fine. We even I told some some of my friends that I don't understand the subject. So they say that you don't understand this subject, the other three I don't understand them. I, get, I understand this subject, but I don't understand the other three subjects. What I told them that I understand the other three, but I don't understand this one subject. So we all are not perfect. <laughs> some understand something, some don't, some understand uh, not the other one. So by helping one another, we can give a good exams. Right. And that's what the world is about, learning, meeting each other and helping each other. And that's why I do this show, so people will meet people from all over the world and begin to help each other grow. 
And that's why I often say, hey guys, share it out because you don't know who in your circle of friends on Facebook need, will learn from coming to this show. So we have one uh, class group on WhatsApp. Uh, uh, one of our female class fellow is having trouble with her English. So I share the link of this show and, oh, and I share with her uh, the other app for English, that hello app, which you call random, randomly and speak to people in English. So I share this with her that you, that you should come and speak uh, with people so it can make it better for you. So yes, uh, if anybody needs it, if anybody will want to improve their English or they don't find a platform for that to improve it, uh, we, we all are ready and especially we am ready to share it with them. Because the more people are here, the more it will be become better and the more we will discuss things and get to know about different things. And in short, we'll help somebody to improve their English. Because we all are, yes, yes, we all are grateful to Rehadwala because of him, we get to know you. So every person back of their mind will be, held, uh, will be thankful to him. Uh, Till their last breath of their life. So, if we don't meet him personally, but uh, through him, we get to this show. So, that's how if you help somebody uh, with the core of your heart, uh, that person cannot uh, forget uh, that help. And you can see it on his page. Whenever he posts something that I am going to this country, I am going to there, uh, this area. Is anybody there who can join me? Everybody is welcoming him. Why? Does he give money to people? Does he has? Uh, does he share laptops with people? Does he giving some scholarship to people? No, he just helping people without a title, <laughs> without anything. So that's how people are. Uh, also ready uh, to welcome him and uh, help him in any aspect of life. He's so, a quite amazing person. It is an example for us. Like how he can is. you, yeah, how can you get the action reaction formula in a positive way? I'm very it's thankful not, for him. And his friendship. So that's how. If we help someone, if we if we uh, let somebody to this show or help them in any aspect of uh, their life, so back up uh, in their mind on any time, uh, they will be thankful. If not thankful, if they are just saying it is because of you, it means a lot to any person. Maybe Rehanawal is uh, watching this show. Maybe he is not. He is not even present here. But we are, uh, everybody is saying his name. Everybody is thankful for him. Anytime he can visit to any city, everybody is welcoming him. He's a very, very dear friend. I feel honored to be in his circle. Anyway, um, let's move on. Bassett, is it okay if I move on now? Yes, yes, fine, uh, surely. Okay. Totally fine. Okay, you got a long time to talk today, so. Yes, that's why I came with some story. That's how I can get the time. <laughs> it's a trick if anybody wants to go. Bassett, when are you going to do the video for me? Uh, Any time. I give asked, me the task. I already okay. gave you. Oh, okay. It's just because I'm so much lazy. 
I will try it today. I you'll try or you will do. I will do. I will do. I would appreciate it. I would love to be able to put a video of yours on the website. Okay, it's it will be an honor. Uh, I will send it to you through uh, through your messenger. Okay. No, send it to me through the GiggleFest University email. It's easier. Okay. Uh, it's much easier for me to take it off and put it um, on the website. If you do it, um, actually, if you do it on, you will get to talk in one moment, once again. I didn't forget you. Um, if you do it, live on Facebook, that would be also nice. That's up to you. I don't think you're ready to do that, but maybe you are. Uh, you also go on my YouTube channel. Uh, first, I will share it with you and I will send it to you personally. And let's see, I will share it then with uh, in my Facebook uh, account my wall because if I, I do it live maybe it goes uh, not that much good so no. if i record it no do it live have you ever noticed i do everything live i don't record it when it's live it's more real do okay. it okay Okay, I will And then send me the link. And I can take it okay. off of Facebook if you send me the link. You can send me the link at Messenger. And I, I will try to send it to you in, uh, personally. That will be easy for me. I want no? you to. Rule, rules are changed now. Do it live. One thing I learned it, uh, here that if you give some task you should do it on time if you don't do it on time it will become the rules will change and it will become a little bit difficult for you the so rules may what... change that's true the rules do change but this yes. particular one the rule the rules don't change that much they basically stay the same I just want people beginning to um, go live, beginning to post what they're thinking. And if the show does have value, then let others know. That's the only way people know about it and they come to it. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. So I will try it live. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. Why not? But don't record it. Do it live. I don't okay. record and, anything. Okay. And uh, uh, Ma'am Carla, how is Ali G? I don't see him. No, I think he's working during the show hours. So what? Send him a message. Find out where he is. And when you find out where he is, let me know. Okay, okay, I will, I will. I think he was there for my interview with Leif um, yesterday, last night, your time, but I'm not sure. But anyway, Mustagine is probably thinking that I'll never talk to him because I'm talking to you. So let me unmute him and let's find out who he is, okay? Okay, sure, sure. Okay. Mustagim, am I let me unmute you. I can't unmute you for some weird. Don't touch the mute button. Should I mute myself? I'm talking to Mustagim. Much again, you're going to have to unmute yourself because for some reason I cannot do it. Do you know how to unmute yourself? Uh, 
Um, there's a little microphone at the left side of, do you see the microphone at the left of your screen on the bottom? That's where you unmute yourself. I can't unmute you, I don't know why. It's not letting me do it. And he disappears. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Hopefully he'll come back tomorrow and we'll get a chance to talk to him. And with that, it is time to end the show. I okay. will... The show is sponsored by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization creating peace, promoting peace, one conversation at a time. Don't leave until I finish this. And I will be back tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Pakistan time. And... 12.30 p.m. New York time. And I will see you then. And let's go out. I'm going to unmute everyone because I want everyone laughing as we go end the show. And we'll go out laughing and waving. Wave goodbye. <laughs> Ha 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 